Hi there. Welcome to Personal Brand Power Hour. I'm excited that you're here. We're gonna be learning all about building your personal brand today. I'm Sophia Splino from Social Equity Podcast. And I'm gonna start doing personal brand power hours with you guys. And I want you to start thinking of questions that you have about growing on social media, building your personal brand. Hi, Maddie. Hi, Greg. Hi, James. Hi, Alex. Yay. While you're here, while we're just getting started, invite any of your friends that are wanting to grow on social media, get social media advice. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Thank you, Jojo. <laughs> That's so sweet. <laughs> I hope every, hey, Tina. Hey, Dasher or Dash. Hi, Len. Welcome to Personal Brand Power Hour. For this next hour, I am going to be giving you free social media advice and hot seat coaching. Hi, Lorenzo. Thank you. Alex, I'm so glad you're here. I miss you. Okay, so I am so excited to share everything that I've known. For those of you who don't know me, I have been in the industry uh, giving social media strategy to brands and to people for professionally since I was in college. I started managing my first uh, brand's social media presence. And then after that, I started growing as an influencer in 2018 and that became my full-time thing. And I didn't actually monetize as well as I could have. And I've made many mistakes along the way. I was helping other brands do it right and I wasn't doing it right for myself for so long. And now I'm realizing and have become an expert at making what I've done for other brands, taking that knowledge and applying it to building your personal brand and monetizing successfully. So for those of you who don't know, oh, thank you, Alex. Yes, share the live. Keep sharing live if you're here. Please share the live. Hi, Rick. Hi, what does that even mean? So I'm gonna be sharing, this is Personal Brand Power Hour. I'm Sophia Spleen, host of Social Equity, the podcast, and I'm here to help you build your personal brand and help answer any questions you have about social media for free. This next hour is 100% me asking you to ask me questions. Where are you struggling? And I, I'm so, so freaking pumped. This is the first time I do a live where I know like someone in here is gonna hear something tonight that helps them make their next six figures because I've done this the hard way. I wanna help you do it the easy way. And I don't know where you're at in your business if you're just getting started or you are a seasoned entrepreneur and you're just feeling like, oh, I just need this one question answered. Sophia, can you help me? I am here to help you. I'm excited. Okay, so I wanna ask you guys, who here is a business owner already? Can you drop that below? Are you a business owner already? Are you using social media as a creator? Are you already an entrepreneur or are you just curious? Are you using social media to make money? Is that your goal? Is that something you're doing right now? Or are you just curious about it? Please drop it in the comments. I'm reading the comments right now. Oh my gosh, our wedding will be on the beach. You're so sweet. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Hey, Jen, welcome. Hey, Jobo Joba. Please keep inviting your friends if you're, you know you're gonna enjoy this. Okay, John Russell says it's a goal. Don, I want to know more clearly what you do and what is your long-term business goal? What are you passionate about and what do you currently share? Hey everyone, thank you for coming in. This is Personal Brand Power Hour. I'm Sophia Spolino, host of Social Equity, the podcast, and I'm here to answer your questions about social media and help you build your personal brand. So for the next hour, that's what we're doing. Oh, we got a New Orleans person in here. Awesome. Um, and listen, guys, if I'm talking to someone else, I want you to be applying. I want you to be applying to yourself the advice I'm giving to others because I will tell you, you can take some advice that I'm giving to someone else and apply it to your life, I can guarantee. So Custom Care MD says, I own a Custom Care mobile auto detailing in New Orleans. Awesome. I love that. So what platforms are you currently using custom care md tell me tell me tell me 
Dawn says, I garden and I'm a pastor of a church. My goal is to network with gardening and Christian companies. Amazing, Dawn. I love it. I love it. I also love that I have people from all different walks of life who follow me because, uh, yeah, I definitely like am very open when it comes to religion. So it really means a lot that you connect with me, even though I'm not like identifying Christian, but I totally love Jesus. Okay, so hey, Cajun boy. Hey, Thomas Folly. So Dawn, currently what is your plan? Are you using um, TikTok? Are you using Instagram? Have you started at all? Tommy Moore, okay, Custom Care says he's using, hi Andy, Custom Care MD says he's using Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok, awesome. On what platform have you seen the most movement, Custom Care? Where are you finding you are getting the most inquiries about your work and value because this is the thing for you your niche specifically requires people in your area to know about you which is possible on any platform i'm just curious where you're seeing the most um traction okay instagram and tiktok for dawn awesome awesome okay so have you started creating original content dawn are you using a lot of trends to create your content oh my gosh okay i couldn't see your picture custom care md i love that i didn't know if you were a woman or a man because your profile picture was kind of far away i love it i love it so much so are you using local hashtags and networking locally or man oh my gosh thank you so much i appreciate that so kind i love that you're a she Okay, Alex says she has the plan. She has the idea, but self-confidence is low to be on camera. Okay, so for everyone just coming in, I'm Sophia Salino, host of Social Equity, the podcast. This is the Personal Brand Power Hour. I'm so excited you're here. I'm gonna be giving free hot seat coaching to those who have small businesses or want to use their platform to be a creator and monetize on social media. And whether you are an expert at monetizing and you are making $100,000 a month on social media or you are making nothing and just wanna learn, you are going to get so much out of this live. So let's start with Alex saying she has the plan, the idea, but self-confidence is low to be on camera. Okay, so first of all, what is the plan? What is the idea that you're comfortable sharing? And I want you to look within Alex, if you've got a journal, all of you listening to this, um, what is it about your plan, about your idea, about your service, about your product that you don't necessarily believe you're the person for the job deep, deep, deep down? What's stopping you? Because if you know, I, this is what I meant to do. This is what God put me on this planet for universe source, whatever you believe in, put me on this planet for you're going to be able to get up and you're going to be able to talk about it. I understand we're all like camera shy at first, but it's like talking to someone in a grocery store. Like when you see a friend you haven't seen in a while and they're like, what are you doing now? I haven't seen you since high school and you're telling about your life and you're like, I love my career or um, I love my kids. My, my oldest daughter is this old or my youngest son is this old and, and you're proud to share that. You believe yourself. That's your life. If you can get to that point with knowing what you have to offer, if it's a service, knowing you're the person for the job or that your product is amazing, you truly believe in it, you will feel more confident to get on camera. It is just a fact, you will. Do you believe yourself? What about yourself do you not believe? Oh, thank you, someone just sent me a gift. I, I don't really know how all these gift things work yet. Um, I don't expect to get money from this. I'm just here to like give you guys value. So I have no idea how it works, but thank you. Like very kind. Okay, so customer care is using, face using Facebook. Okay, I love Facebook. If, um, if you're using Facebook and you're targeting local people because perhaps like me, like many of us, we've had Facebook our whole lives, right? We grew up with it. I don't know how old you are customer care MD is, but most of us started there. So we have, you know, a good chunk of friends there. I think it's a great place to start. You can also get into DMs with people on Facebook. The problem with TikTok being your sole social media plan is the DM situation isn't as clean, clear. Um, it's harder to connect. 
the way it is on than the way it is on Instagram or Facebook because I feel like people can see your stories and your stories is where people go if they're really curious like maybe they see a post from you and they follow but when they start watching your stories they're ready to buy from you they're learning to trust you right they're connecting with you you're here because you've connected with me multiple times like whether you saw multiple videos or you came from Instagram or from my TikTok story day where you saw I was doing this and you're like, oh, Sophia, I connect with her. I trust her. I know if I spend my time watching this live, I'm going to get value from this. Hi, everyone. Welcome to the Personal Brand Power Hour. I am Sophia Spellino, host of Social Equity, and I'm here giving free hot seat coaching tonight on TikTok. I'm so excited that you're here. You're going to get so much value. And if I'm answering someone else's question, I invite you to take out your journal and reflect on how you can apply this to you, your business. If you're a creator, if you're an aspiring creator, this is for you. Take what serves you and leave the rest, okay? So using Facebook and Instagram are super valuable because that's where people connect in stories. Now, TikTok is gonna give you reach potentially higher than any of those platforms. Now, that's not to say that you can't go viral. Those platforms just typically require a slightly more aesthetically pleasing of posts, if that makes sense. Like the content that is popular on Reels right now might be more magazine-esque, put together-esque than what's going on on TikTok. However, the trend is really going back down to very organic looking videos. And I'm so excited about that because as a creator, we're expected to put out way more content than we were to succeed a while ago. It's getting saturated in order to be seen. Your audience might only see one of 10 posts. Um, if you're me right now, ooh, I'm in trouble on Instagram because someone reported a picture that showed too much skin from last year. So like my posts are being seen by so little people. And as a social media strategist, I hate it. It's, it's rough business, but I will be back. Mar Instagram says like by March 22nd, I'll have that ban like lifted off. But Instagram typically it's harder to reach new people. It's not impossible. If you know strategy, it's not impossible. But TikTok does allow you to reach new people historically easier than Facebook or Instagram. But once people are on your Facebook or Instagram, they trust you, nurture them. Get in your stories every single day. And even like Alex, you're like, I don't really know yet. If you're posting on Instagram enough that people feel they can get to know you and they enjoy following you, even if you aren't selling yet, if you're just posting and getting people to feel familiar with you, like you, trust you, you're already building social equity. That's why I named my podcast Social Equity because how people perceive you on the internet really starts to define our worth. Like not your worth internally, but how someone will think of you. Like. Are, are you worth going to for that product or service? They're gonna think of you first because of social media or they're gonna think not to go to you because of social media, right? Dawn says she posts daily on both. That's amazing. Dawn, are you posting photos? Or are you posting videos? Tell me more. Um, Custom Care MD, awesome. She does a lot of older cars. Personal posts get a lot of views, but not the business one. Okay. So what is it about personal posts that get more views than business posts? They're social. They're giving people an inside scoop to your life. People don't feel like you're trying to sell to them, right? What I want you to ask yourself is when you post for your business, is there something that you can make it feel very personal? You could show your face, or that you could provide value. Hi Lauren, how are you? I'm so proud of what you've been able to do on social media. I've loved watching your journey. Thanks for being here. Y'all, if you're enjoying this and you're getting value from this, please share the live. That would be amazing. Let's get more people on here while I'm giving free coaching. Um, so back to Custom Care MD, like when you're posting, she's saying she's getting better views on personal posts rather than business posts. And that is just natural because people want to connect with the person. This is social media. We must first be social. Lauren is an amazing example of the power of sharing something very personal. She's gone completely viral from sharing her very personal life with her baby on TikTok. And so what I want to ask you, Custom Care MD, is 
what could you make very personal? Could you tell your first like stories of how you fell in love with these vintage cars? Um, childhood stories, how you went to point A to point Z, how to clean a car from point A to point Z, you actually doing these details. How could you make it more personal and show you rather than just the service? Hello, Esmer Sanchez from San Antonio. I love this, <laughs> love the confidence, my smile, that's amazing. Okay, so Dawn is doing reels on Instagram and videos on TikTok. Dawn, I wanna encourage you. Today, I wanna talk about working smarter, not harder. Have you connected your Instagram reels to not a business page on Facebook, a personal page on Facebook? Because right now, there is an opportunity to get so many views from your Facebook personal page reels, not your pe business page. And let me tell you something crazy when it comes to repurposing content. So if you've listened to the episode on social equity today, it was all about repurposing content, working smarter, not harder. I use software called Repurpose.io. I am an affiliate. However, I just became an affiliate like a month ago. I've used their service for three years as a paying customer and I still pay, okay? I just now get a kickback if I recommend it. Oh, I love this little layer that's flopping around here. It's like got the perfect little swoosh. Oh, nope, I ruined it. <laughs> Anyways, um, if you are growing your business, you need to be sharing content across platforms. And as a creator, we don't have time to do this manually. And even if like me, you have an assistant, you need your assistant to be doing other activities that produce income and just use software to repurpose these videos, I highly recommend repurpose.io. Now, you can go get this on your own, not use my affiliate code and not get the kickback, but I would love to get, first of all, the kickback because I'm telling you about a software that I've researched and had to figure out like how to make this all work super real. Hey, Metaverse May, woo, 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 woo. Guys, that's so sweet, love it. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Okay, so here's the thing. If um, you're repurposing your content, which you should be, there's a strategy to it. I know that there's certain platforms that are very, very picky, very picky. Instagram, TikTok, they do not want the metadata, meaning the data from a TikTok video that you produced in TikTok, to go on their platform. So what I do, and I don't do it perfectly because I produce a lot of content, like a shitload of content, okay? But what I try to do is I post a video on Instagram that I created in Instagram one day. And then maybe the next day I post a video on Instagram that I created on TikTok. But I run it through a app called SnapTik that removes the watermark from TikTok and I put it into Instagram. Now there's probably still metadata from TikTok deep in there, but it's still better than the watermark because you're not gonna have a great chance of your videos being seen on Instagram or Facebook if they've got a TikTok watermark. So hopefully this is helping you think. Create one video on Instagram Reels and repurpose that to TikTok. Create one video within TikTok and repurpose that over to Instagram Reels manually, okay? Hey guys, welcome to Personal Brand Power Hour. I'm your host, Sophia Spino. I am giving social media and personal branding advice for free right now. Yes, so stay in, invite your friends to this live. Okay, so Kelsey says she missed the part. I'm gonna come back to you, Alex, just one moment. Kelsey says she missed the part, how to get the watermark off of TikTok videos. Okay, I use this app called SnapTik. I pay for it but you can actually use the free internet browser version and completely remove the watermark off your TikToks to repurpose them other places. I also use software, the link is in my bio. And as I was saying, you don't have to use my link. I wouldn't get a kickback. I'd appreciate it if you did because I've used the software for three years. It is the best thing on the market. It is worth every penny. It will save you years of your life. Um, believe me, if you're a creator on social media, you need things to make things more efficient for you. Work smarter, not harder. Repurpose.io is amazing, okay? And I've got a 20% off link in my bio. They don't pay me to say it, but if you use it, I get a kickback and that's such a blessing because I love the software. So go to SnapTik, remove the watermark, okay? One more time, TikTok to IG. 
IG to TikTok, you're doing that manually. Okay, we're not getting around that. But now we're gonna use artificial intelligence to repurpose the rest. So hear me out, grab your notebook and we're gonna start like a chart, okay? You've got a chart and it looks like this. Instagram, TikTok. Okay. Produce. Here to here. Sometimes, sometimes you're gonna cross them over. If the video is really good on Instagram, share it on TikTok. If the video is really good on TikTok, share it on Instagram, but not all the time. You're gonna take the artificial intelligence from repurpose.io, which is linked in my bio, and you're gonna have TikTok share it too. Facebook, YouTube Shorts, Facebook business, let me uh, clarify. You can't share from TikTok or anywhere to a Facebook personal. I'm gonna explain more. Okay, Alex says, I've worked with a company on Facebook, but required to constantly DM people. Is it the same for TikTok? So are you saying you were required to constantly DM people to make sales with that company? Um, well, I, first of all, I don't recommend reaching out to people through DMs. I recommend creating content and having people reach out to you. Um, so there's a lot of fake accounts of me right now going around and like saying they want to like give people services or whatever. I never reach out to people for services. People reach out to me because I make good content that lets them trust me, that makes them realize they should want to work with me, that makes them realize they want to learn from me. Um, I don't solicit business through DMs. Okay, guys, share the live if you're enjoying this. If you're learning something, share the live. It would be amazing. Okay, Alex says you had to build your friends, then get more views to your content to make sales. Constantly friending others. Um, I don't. I create content that makes people want to follow me. I, in the beginning of Instagram, I did friend other people like and like cross promote. But right now my focus is creating videos that are targeting a specific niche. Those people see the videos and they follow me because they want to, not because I like fake friended them. You know what I mean? Like you follow me because you love my content, not because like I pretend to like, what? do you get what I'm saying? Like. Don't build your brand off of friendly. Oh my gosh. Hey, Muslim Rapunzel, I love you. Okay. So more like making reels and adding, adding chart. Yes. Okay. And we can talk about hashtags. That's going to come next. Okay. We will do that. Hashtag strategy. We're going to come up with that. But now I want to go back to this. Repurposing your content. Because like Alex just said, to get clients, we're not DMing people. We're not. To get followers, we're not DMing people. We are creating more content. And the only way to create more content is to physically create it and then use artificial intelligence to distribute it. Okay? Are you following me, guys? We cannot do more than we can physically do as humans, but we can do the most with strategy. For those of you just entering, I'm Sophia Spino, host of Social Equity, the podcast. This is the Personal Brand Power Hour and I'm doing hot seat coaching. I'm so excited to help you. If you have any questions about social media or your personal brand, drop them in the chat and I'm gonna be answering them. Oh my God, Alex, don't apologize. Keep the questions coming. I freaking love it. Okay, so now we're repurposing. We start by creating, we'll call this mother content, right? Like this is the original content. We produce it within the Instagram app or we produce it within the TikTok app, okay? Where to start drops of divinity? Tell me what you mean by that. Do you mean by like coming up with your business plan? Do you mean like what social media platform to start? Give me some more context drops of divinity. I would love to work with you and answer your question. So creating content that we repurpose, these are the ones that we start with, okay? Instagram or TikTok videos. Now you're gonna go to the link in my bio or do it manually, I wouldn't do that. Um, but I use repurpose 
And, okay, I love it. Drops the divinity. I'm going to come back to you. Don't worry. I'll I, I catch what you're putting down now. Okay, so you're going to start here. And you're going to repurpose this automatically to YouTube Shorts, Facebook business page, like a public figure page. I just spit on the camera. I'm sorry. I got excited like a preacher. Okay, YouTube Shorts, Facebook business page, and LinkedIn, depending on your market. LinkedIn and YouTube Shorts, that is some untapped territory. It is like the wild, wild west. Do you remember when we like, read history books as a kid, right? And they were like, the gold rush was over in California and everyone started going. I've got this weird knot in my hair right here. I, I went walking all day on the beach, so I'm shocked my hair is even like, anyway. Um, so the gold rush, people rushed there and the ones who got there first really succeeded. Well, I don't know if you remember, but I had like 30,000 followers on Instagram and then I got on TikTok and blew up. TikTok was like, I mean, I grew so fast because that was the gold rush at the time. Right now, the gold rush is Reels on, um, sorry, YouTube Shorts, okay? The gold rush is LinkedIn. Depending on the type of business you have, using LinkedIn in a way that nobody's using it with short form video, okay? Or text posts on LinkedIn. Hi there, Kira. Hi, Dylan. Welcome to Personal Brand Power Hour. I'm Sophia Spleen. I'm so excited you're here and I'm answering, answering social media tips and personal branding. Questions. So here's the thing. You're going to repurpose it to those places. Write it down. Connect your LinkedIn. Connect your Facebook business. Connect your YouTube shorts. Now I want you to do the same on Instagram. But there is a caveat. So write this down. Instagram. We're going to go to YouTube shorts again. Automatically. Using the repurpose software. Then we're going to use repurpose software for LinkedIn. Then we're gonna use repurpose software for Facebook. No, and this is where, this is what I learned. This was the hard part. I'm correcting myself because it was confusing and I'm glad I figured it out. It only took me two hours like to solve this problem, maybe even three hours. So I wanna solve this for you really quick. Um, you're gonna use your Instagram. Now this is where it's kind of scary because we all like are like, oh, Facebook, cool. But like, if you really think about it, you're like, why don't I post on Facebook? It's because your mama, your grandma, your auntie is on Facebook, right? There are people that may not, you know, you, you might not want to uh, post because you feel a little embarrassed, right? But, but the truth is like, you're here, like if you're in this live and you're learning something right now, like you're here to go big. You're here to make something out of your life. You're not here to like play small or be afraid of what you have to say or what you have to sell. You're ready to use social media to change your life, change your lifestyle. And hey, NYC Free, I love you. Thank you for always engaging. Hey, Kira, I'm so glad you're here. Right, everyone over 50 is on Facebook, but you know what, Dawn? Everyone over 50 has got more money than Gen Z. They can buy from you, right? They can consume your content and buy from you. I want you to not be afraid of who sees what you sell. And I, I can guarantee you one thing. If you are afraid to post on Facebook, this is also the same reason you're afraid to get on camera. You're not confident of what you have to sell enough because you're afraid of the people you really know seeing it. And I just hit the problem on the head. I have goosebumps right now. If you can get past this, Thing, this fear of like the people you know seeing it and seeing you stand in your power because maybe they saw you. Maybe they saw you fail at your past endeavor. Maybe they saw you fail at your past job. Maybe they saw that you didn't like, maybe your old managers on Facebook, right? Yeah, Metaverse, yes. If you're, if you're picking up what I'm putting down and you're enjoying this, share this live, please. Heart this, guys, share it. I know like it's gonna help more people. I'm telling you. This is the problem because right now, if you could believe in yourself, you would post on Facebook because you wouldn't care if Auntie saw it because you're like, damn right she did. I am a boss and I'm proud of what I'm sharing here. Okay. Thank you, Metaverse. Bye. Yes. Okay. Is it a good thing if my personal brand conflicts with my nine to five? Is it a good thing? Okay. Um, transformative tarot. Great question. Is your nine to five? Something where it would like conflict where like they would fire you. Okay, now I'm going to back up and I promise I would go back to Drops of Divinity's um, plan. So where to start? Okay, guys, if you're just coming in, this is Personal Brand Power Hour. I'm your host, Sophia Splino. 
host of Social Equity, the podcast, and I'm here to give you personal branding advice for free, hot seat coaching, drops the divinity, ask where to start with a business plan, how to show your face. Okay, so let's go back to this. What did little you want to do with your life? What did little you want to do with your life when you were seven years old? If you close your eyes right now, close your eyes. What did she envision for her life? What was her dream job? Now, fast forward, what did, if you could go back to a time in your life, what was the most passionate moment where you loved what you were doing? You loved what you were learning in school or you loved this hobby you had? What was it for you? Now, that feeling that you had where it didn't feel like work, it didn't feel like effort and you, you absorb the knowledge. Yo, we live in a world where like coaching is an unregulated business, right? Like you can be a coach on anything. You can't just be a doctor or a lawyer, but you can be a coach on anything. Okay. Example. And here you're a good mom. Like, okay. Idea. Um, you've overcome some things with your kids. Maybe there's there's um, some discipline things you've overcome with your kids and, and you figured out a way to like have your kids be the best behaved. You could literally sell a program on that, literally. And moms would pay you for it. Whatever you've learned and become an expert in and whatever is your passion drops a divinity, that is where you start. So for me, I love, I love getting on, like I come alive in front of the camera. Always have, always have since I was a little kid. So for me, getting on the camera is not not the issue. Um, I, I love helping people. I love when someone says, Sophia, I changed my whole life because of you. Sophia, whoa, holy shit, I, I got this new job because of your life coaching. Sophia, holy shit, like your coaching helped me to make money. Like I, I never made money like this before. Oh my God. I love that feeling of like impacting people's lives. And the way I've been able to do this easily in my life was because of social media, because I studied it for now. I've been on social media for 16 years. I've studied social media for 10 years. Like truly studied it, okay? I know the fuck I'm talking about. And like uh, people pay me because I'm gonna bring value. So you gotta feel that way about whatever you're doing, right? Like whatever lights you up, whatever lit up little you, okay? We're going back to the the comments here. I'm going to start reading. Um, and, and when you believe yourself, you are going to get on camera. You're not going to be afraid. You are not going to. Oh, thank y'all for all the gifts. You're not going to be afraid to get on camera. Now, drops the divinity. You want to be a singer. You want to be a doctor. Did you get any um, medical training? And are you a good singer? Um, ask yourself these things. And, it, and if you don't have the training or you're not a good singer, what did you love about doctor? Did you want to help people? Did, did you want to sing because you love performing? You can help people and perform without being a doctor or a singer. Just figure out the next thing you know how to do and teach it and do it and share it on the internet. Transform of Tara. Yes and no. It would change my reputation and my nine to five didn't like it. That's technically good if it doesn't align with my true purpose. Then, oh my God, Transform of Tara. You already answered your question. You, you just got clarity. You just came back to yourself. Do you see this? It would change your reputation if my nine to five didn't like it, but that's good if it doesn't align with your true purpose. So what you're telling me is you value your purpose over the pressure right now. You value what really matters to you, which is like the first step, the first step of knowing what you want to do. Now, I'm not saying go do something stupid. If Save your money. I mean, if, if you work for a church and they're not going to like that you're sharing tarot, then... Um, Maybe have a, a different temporary job lined up until you can sustain yourself with your business. However, I will tell you, a little fire under the booty will help you sustain your business. You will get on, you will go live, you will share, you will do what you gotta do to make it happen if you didn't have the nine to five and you'd have the energy and focus to do it. Now, am I giving you advice to do that? No, but what I am saying is whenever something's removed from you, you'll figure it out in the universe. Like, like if you're running, across a lake and, and, and you needed like stones, they would just start appearing. 
because that's how God works. Okay, Drops of Divinity says learning. I'm not sure what you're referring to. Um, are you learning like as in you're studying to be a doctor or learning how to sing? Okay, so Alex says cosmetologist and songwriter. Okay, so Alex, what I'm hearing from you is you love the art of makeup and you love writing. And I've, I've read some of the things you, you've written and you're really good at it. So what about writing? Could you use that in your business? Um, could you be teaching other people how to write? How could you be writing and just sharing your journey and because of what you're writing and because of your story, you're getting paid to be you because you're sharing what you write. Because you could not focus on selling a service, but you could focus on being an influencer who tells stories based on what you write. I know you, I, I don't think you've had the cosmetologist training. So then from there, ask yourself, is that something you want to pursue? Or do you not want to pursue that? You just are reflecting and you're thinking like, I enjoy the art of that, but that's not what I want to like pursue as the thing that I'm servicing. Oh, excuse me. Okay, Drops the Divinity says she's in a doctor program in clinical psychology. Wonder if getting on camera will conflict. You know, you may have to be more careful legally about what you say. Um, but I'm very proud of you for getting your doctorate. That's freaking amazing. That's just baller. So here's the good thing, Drops the Divinity. No matter what you do, with social media or not, you're gonna have this degree and no one can take that away from you. But what's really cool about social equity is no one can take that away from you either. So I highly recommend that you, even if you're not trying to sell services on social media yet, use social media to support the identity and the reputation that it's going to take for you to get the best dream job after you get out of your doctorate program. And that's the amazing thing about social equity. Even if you're not actively selling on social media, your social identity is always indirectly like it, it, it will affect your job. If you work at a corporate job, what's on your social media allows you to have security that if you lost that job, you'd be able to find another one because of who you are on social media, who people perceive you to be. That's the social equity. This is so important for everybody, whether or not you directly sell a product or service. Thank you, XXX. I so appreciate that. Okay, someone crop dusted the gym earlier. So like boiled eggs, random, but okay. Boiled egg farts are the worst. Um, let's see. Cray cray ladies, follow me, thank you. You're doing the doctor part, super. Future psychologists, love it. Okay, transformative tarot, so glad to hear that you agree. Keep asking questions, guys. Hi, welcome to the Personal Brain Power Hour. I'm Sophia Spolino. I'm so excited to be here and giving you free advice. I also host Social Equity, the podcast. The link is in my bio for my podcast. And so far tonight, we've been giving uh, foundational personal branding advice as well as repurposing and distributing content advice. If you have any questions, drop them now. I'm so excited to answer them for you and provide value for 100% free. And if you wanna work with me further, you are absolutely welcome to book a one-on-one -on -one call for coaching, whether that's direction with your business and your personal brand or social media strategy or consulting for your existing creator platforms or business platforms. Whether you've never started or you are a seasoned creator or have had a business that is used social media successfully, I'm excited that you're here. So Alex says, I technically started writing to get out of my head dealing with cult issues and my hair was a hobby. I love that, I love that. So the cult issues, which I know about uh, a little bit more deeply and personally, because um, Alex is one of my friends. Alex, um, writing is a beautiful way to, to nurture yourself and to get things out, so that's amazing. Hi Angie, welcome. Always meshy, welcome. What I wanna tell you, Alex, is like, how could you use that writing and that storytelling and that release to share your journey until you know what you want to do on social media, how can you connect with people? Because many of you follow me because you connect to me and my personal story. Like you started following me because you connect to me and my personal story. And now, no matter what I do, you're going to be like, oh, I'm going to at least listen to Sophia. Like, even if I can't buy what she like is selling or what she's talking about, like 
I might not totally like understand right now. I'm not like in the market, whatever it is. You are here because you connect to me as a person because social media is social. So Alex, start telling your story on social media so people can connect to you. And then no matter what you do, Alex, no matter what you pursue in the future, people will buy and trust you because they believe you and they know you as a human, right? Nadia, oh, so sweet. Okay, sorry, Drops of Divinity, that was an accident. Oh, Dawn, you're so sweet. Drops of Divinity says, thank you, that was my life answer. I'm so glad I am, you know, I started this journey as a life coach and I am coaching women in personal branding and, and social media auditing, but at the end of the day, it always comes back to like this, this knowing within ourselves. I can give you the strategy all day, but I love to point you guys in the right direction, which is always here. And then from there, internally, we can work our way up to strategy, and how we present ourselves in the world. Think about it. I am here showing up as a boss. I've got the answers. I'm excited to tell you what I know. How can you show up with what you know, with your product, with your service on social media? And how would that shift the way you create content, the way you show up on camera, the confidence? Nadia, tell me more. Why are you here right now? Answer, um, I, I didn't catch, but what is the particular reason? Okay. Did you see my question about going? No, I didn't, Dawn. Tell me again. I'm so sorry. Give me more. Give me more. What do you mean about going live? Um, go ahead and re-ask it. Hi, Carolina. Welcome. Yay, Alex. I'm so glad that it's been valuable. Hey, guys. Welcome to the Personal Brand Power Hour. I'm so excited you're here. I'm Sophia Spolino, host of Social Equity, the podcast. And tonight, I am giving free advice. If you're enjoying this live, please share it with your friends. Share it with your friends right now. Stop what you're doing. Stop thinking and share it. I am so excited you're here. You can hear more content like this where I give free advice, free wisdom, uh, mindset advice, personal branding advice, social media strategy on social equity, the podcast. The link is in the bio. Okay, Dawn says, what is the benefit of going live and how many followers should we have for it to be worth your time? Okay, so, woo, thanks Alex for sharing it. Hi Rock. Okay, Dawn's question, what's the benefit of going live? How many followers should we have for it to be worth your time? First of all, you cannot go live on TikTok until you have a thousand followers. So when you have a thousand followers, go live. Let me tell you why. When you use features that platforms offer, your content will get pushed out more. It's just a fact. You're using a feature. The platform's goal is to keep you on it. The platform's goal, hi Dylan. Platform's goal is to take your content and keep people on that app so then advertisers get their products seen. But the advertisers wouldn't have products to be seen if creators weren't making content that people wanted to watch that was organic because then otherwise we wouldn't get on an app just to see ads. Do you see what I'm saying? So Dawn, when there is the opportunity to go live, go live. Right now I can't go live on Instagram. It is such a stink. Um, right now I'm, I'm I'm in Instagram jail because of a picture I posted a year ago that showed too much skin. So until March 22nd, I cannot go live, which has been really frustrating. So I'm here on TikTok going live. Um, TikTok's a great place to go live. Um, TikTok is a great place because when your followers, like right now, Dawn, you can share my live and all your followers are gonna see that you shared it. And it's a great way to gain new followers. The benefit of going live, the biggest benefit is even if I was in here with you, and Alex alone, and no one else had joined this entire life, right? Say no one else did. You guys would have gotten value from me and connected to me. Now, in the future, you may be one of my customers, okay? For privacy reasons, I'm not gonna say who's already been my customer, who's already gotten coaching from me, unless they want to say that already. But like, you are more likely to connect with me because I'm building a connection with you, right? So that is the point of going live. We are actually talking right now. We're actually having a real conversation right now. This is a very different level of connection than can happen when you just see one of my reels and I'm like doing this, right? It's so different. So it's really a act of nurturing for your audience. And that's so important for um, building that trust, building that connection and also for getting your content spread further because the people who are in here who are enjoying it are going to share it. 
that being said, share it if you're enjoying it. Welcome to Social Equity, no, sorry, Personal Brand Power Hour. I am the host of Social Equity. My name is Sophia Spino, and for the next 13 minutes, I am going to be answering more of your questions about social media strategy and personal branding. I'm here to solve your problems right now. Tell me what walls you're hitting. Um, Alex says she's crying. She's taking notes after her vision board. My, wi my wisdom is worth every single bit of money. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I love it. I love inspiring you guys. Like, that's my purpose. Um, I've been really blessed with the platform that I've been given. Like, I do believe the universe gave it to me because I worked really hard. Like, I, I persisted. I, I took action. Like, if you work with me and, like, I coach you on your strategy, if you take the action on the things I'm telling you to do, you will succeed. You will grow your social media platform. Whatever your next goal is that we work towards together, if you take action, you cannot fail. You cannot fail. So invest in yourself, whether it's with me or another coach, like ask the questions. Now, Nadia says, I'm not here because of the connection. I have here connection. I have to you. I'm here to learn. I just, I'm not here to learn. I just love you. <laughs> Thank you, Nadia. Okay, but here's the thing. You just love me and connect to me because maybe I shared my story at some point and you really connect to my personal story. And maybe, maybe you'll never buy my services because maybe you don't need them at this point in your life, but you'll share my content with someone who might. And so I built that connection where you trust me, even if you're not here to, to learn, one of your friends might need to learn something that I talk about and because you trust me, and because I'm building social equity and because you value what I have to say, or maybe you just think I'm cute, you'll share my stuff with your friend and maybe that friend buys for me, right? And so all of these connections, even better, that friend doesn't just buy for me, I get to help them. And you trust to recommend me because you know that I help people and you know that I follow through, right? Can you tell us more about LinkedIn? Yes. Okay, so first of all, there are LinkedIn experts. I'm not gonna claim to be a LinkedIn actor, expert, but what I can tell you is LinkedIn is a very untapped platform right now. It is the wild, wild west and you should be posting on LinkedIn. Now, what's proven to work on, work on LinkedIn is text, right? People on LinkedIn are willing to read your posts way more than any other platform that has taught us to have like short term attention spans, like short form platforms like TikTok or Instagram. Let me take a sip of water. I feel like I'm yelling. Woo! Okay, put a emoji, a heart of any color in the chat if you feel like you've learned something in this live and that you feel like you've gotten inspired and it's been valuable to you. Drop it in the chat. Um, put two hearts in the chat if because of this live, you're going to do something that you didn't do before. That you learned something and you're gonna actually take action on it. Drop it in there. Okay, so back to the LinkedIn content. It is so important to post on LinkedIn depending on your niche. Thank you, Dawn. Thank you, Alex. Yes. Depending on your niche, you should be posting on LinkedIn because the people who are there, especially if you're attracting your service provider and maybe you're attracting other business owners to work with you on your service, then if you're posting on LinkedIn, you're posting to people who have real jobs, right? Who have real careers, who have real money to spend and who find value through business connections. They already find that valuable. They're not here just to swipe through. They're not here to just waste time watching videos. They are there to actually make valuable connections. So LinkedIn is, is talking to people who have money to buy your product or service because they're actually like trying hard at life, right? That is a business networking platform. So that's the first thing. Second thing is it's a place where people are gonna read text. Third thing is not enough people are doing video on LinkedIn. It is an opportunity of a lifetime to get on there and repurpose your reels that tell stories, that help people connect to you, that share about your products and service. I'm so glad you're, this is making sense. Now, before this live ends, I wanna get back into working smarter, not harder. If you haven't listened to Social Equity, the podcast yet, that was what the episode was about today. Now, I did mention this to another live, I think last night, you guys other than them are going to be the first to know 
I have a bonus episode coming out this Wednesday that is going to inspire the fudge out of you. It is all about how I went from 2021, not knowing how I was going to make it, 2022, building my business with my head down, and 2023, burning three businesses, and having the ability to run these three businesses from anywhere in the world and loving what I do. Doesn't mean it's easy. Doesn't mean it didn't mean a lot of action. But you are here. You are listening to this because you want more. Drop it in the comments. I want more. I deserve more. I'm going to get more if that's the case for you. Drop it right now. Claim that for yourself. Admit it out loud. I want more than what's happening in my life right now. I want more. Claim it. Say it if that is how you feel. Thank you. Hey, it's Mac. Thank you. Hey, April. Say it right now. Drop it in the comments if you want to speak that over your life. Words are so powerful. Drop it in the comments. And if you feel comfortable out loud where you're at, I want more. And it's okay for me to want what I want. Okay, right now, yes, you deserve to reach your goals. You deserve more. Okay, clarity about your goals. That is going to be the next step. If you need clarity about your goals, obviously, we can do a one-on-one -on -one call. I know that we can only get so far in the lives. However, I will be launching a, uh, like a group program where, because eventually these lives will become heavier. Right now, I'm in niche no man land because I, I pivoted out of lesbian TikTok into helping as a coach with strategy, right? So right now, my my views are a little bit down because TikTok's like, what algorithm do we put her in? It's okay, this is normal. As a strategist, I know it takes six to eight weeks to completely transition over. So right now, my lives, I'm accessible. Like We can talk. But in the future, I'm gonna be building out a group coaching program that is going to give you access to me every single week. And it's gonna be like this, but even deeper. Oh, Alex, I can't wait. I can't wait. See all my books again. Okay, so Dawn, you want more than what's going on right now. Alex, you want more than what's going on right now. Metaverse May, she's making a claim. She wants in. Yes, I love it, love it, love it. Yes, I love it, Metaverse May. Okay, y'all, if you want the, the updates, like if you want to know when I have a new podcast episode out, you want to know. Okay, Alex, good night. I look forward to seeing you again soon. Thank you, Brandy. Thank you for saying it's awesome. Share a slide with a friend. We've got five more minutes and it's going to be a great last five minutes. Listen, I wrote an ebook. It is called How to Get What You Want. I don't care what you want. You, you want to make more money. You want to have the relationship of your life. You want to learn how to love yourself. You want to learn how to have better habits. You want to learn how to get clear in your goals. This book is going to help you. I wrote it. It's free. It's totally 100% free. The link is in the bio to get it. Sign up for my email list. When you sign up for my email list, you're going to instantly get this book, the download for it, and you're going to just get notified when I have a new podcast episode. I don't email y'all more than once a week. I'm not annoying, okay? But what you're going to learn when you sign up for my email list is an example of an email. You're going to learn a little bit about email marketing when you sign up for my email list. You're going to go, oh, this works for Sophia. Now, I can learn how to do this, right? I want what I do. I want you to learn from me. I want you to go, this is what's working for her, and now I can learn. And then if you need more support, of course, we can go deeper in a one-on-one. -on -one, but I want you to take as much knowledge as you can. Right here, right now. Okay? Back to this repurposing, okay? When you create content, recap. Create it on Instagram Reels or create it in TikTok. Only post one to the other if you're taking the TikTok watermark off the video. But creating in the native app is going to be the best way to get your content out there because the algorithms know when you created it in Instagram versus when you created it in TikTok, okay? You want those videos to perform well, you create them in app. Or you edit them in a completely different app. You take the video on your phone, not from the camera in the app. You just take the video and you edit them in a third party app, and then you upload them to those platforms. From there, you're gonna go to the link in my bio. You're gonna get Repurpose. Repurpose is the best software for repurposing short form video content. And if you are not using it, you're wasting so many eyeballs that could be seeing your content. So the key to this is when you create an Instagram, have Repurpose send it to YouTube Shorts. Have it send it to Facebook Business Profile. Have it send it to LinkedIn, okay? 
Repurpose sends your videos to LinkedIn. I don't know if you understand the value of this, but nobody else is doing it, okay? You heard it from me first. Put your valuable videos on LinkedIn and tell me that it doesn't change your life, please. Because the people who are there, they want to buy from you. They want to learn from you. They are driven people. And you're gonna do this for TikTok too. You're gonna have them repurpose to LinkedIn, YouTube Shorts. Now, Facebook business page. This is where things are a little different though. In the back end of Instagram, this is the only place where you can do it. You're gonna repurpose your Instagram in the back end of Instagram, not using the third party app. You're gonna repurpose your reels, your pictures, your stories to your personal Facebook, not your business. Repurpose.io is going to do that. Again, you can get repurpose.io and the link in my bio at 20% off. And I've used this software for three years. I know it works, it is amazing. What's really cool is you can put calls to action, different calls to action for each platform in Repurpose.io. So you're able to put um, a longer description of your services maybe on your LinkedIn. When it auto posts to LinkedIn, whatever your caption was on Instagram, it's gonna add a longer caption to LinkedIn for your audience there. You can actually go to LinkedIn, look at my content and see how it looks different than the same thing that was posted to Instagram to get an idea. Repurpose.io does all this for me. I don't have to manually put my content everywhere. Now on the back end of Instagram, you need to make sure that your content is being repurposed to your personal Facebook profile. Yes, your personal. The one your mama, your auntie, your granny sees because the people who are on Facebook, those people, I know you might be a little nervous about them seeing what you have to do or who you are on the internet, but at the end of the day, you're here to be a boss and sell and you're here to change your life. Be brave, share about content there. Share about content with confidence there. Because if you're not right now, Facebook Reels, not just Instagram Reels, Facebook Reels is a huge opportunity for growth, okay? I'm getting thousands of views on my Facebook personal Reels, not my public figure profile. So go out and have your Reels automatically go there. I hope you're picking up what I'm laying down. You're gonna use software that repurposes things everywhere, but in the back end of Instagram, that's the only place where you can repurpose to a personal Facebook profile. There is no software that is going to do that for you. Only in the back end of Instagram can you do that. So I hope that you're taking notes. I hope that you go get repurpose.io. There's a 20% off discount code in my bio. Again, they're not paying me to say it. I'm just an affiliate and I've used that software for three years and it sees me at least five hours a week of repurposing content. Also, there's a content calendar in it and it's super easy to like plan your content. I don't, I just have it like pop out as soon as I make it. Like if I make a video on TikTok in two hours, it's gonna get repurposed to LinkedIn. It's gonna go to YouTube Shorts, it's gonna go everywhere. I hope you learned something today. Thank you for being here. Please go to the link in my bio, sign up for my email list, uh, get repurposed.io, it's super valuable. Use my link to get 20% off. Um, be on the lookout for more lives and eventually my subscription um, to having a personal brand power hour that is really personal with you guys where we grow every single week and we learn from each other. It is going to be a community. Um, not only will you learn from me, but we, as you saw tonight, thank you, Dawn, that means so much. As you learned tonight, when someone else asks a question, you can apply it to your own life and your own business. And it's just so valuable when we come together and we ask questions because I know in my coaching programs that I pay for, like when someone else asks a question, even if it's not a problem I directly have, I'm able to take knowledge from that and go, how can I apply this to my business or my life, right? So thank you guys for being here. Thank you for learning with me. Of course, subscribe to the podcast. It's 100% free. Go to about link in my bio, get access to my ebook, how to get what you want when you join my email list and then also listen to the podcast. I am so, so grateful that you're here. Thank you for connecting with me. If you haven't already, uh, join me on Instagram too. That's another place to connect. Okay, so that's it. Thank y'all for being here for Personal Brand Power Hour. Have an amazing night. Um, Ashley, yes, um, next time join, you can subscribe and you'll be alerted when I'm here next time. 
Um, also, the way to connect with me is on Instagram. So there's gonna be so much value in my Instagram stories. Um, if, if you really enjoyed this or if you're sad that you missed it, <laughs> join me on Instagram stories. That's where I'm going to be. Um, I'm so glad you're, glad you're here. If you haven't listened to the newest podcast episode, go ahead and subscribe and listen now. It's totally free. And there is a bonus episode coming out Wednesday that's going to inspire the fudge out of you. I know it will. Have an amazing night. Remember, you are building social equity. Whether or not you directly sell on the internet, what you put on the internet matters. And it, it it's how people perceive you. It is your value. You're building an asset for yourself. So think before you post. Think before you post. I wish I had been more strategic a long time ago. I am so proud of what I've been able to achieve over 333,000 followers across platforms. And I want to teach you how to do it. I don't want you to make the same mistakes. So go listen to the podcast and learn from me. If you want to work with me one-on-one or you're like, I want Sophia to do a social media audit for me. Super easy. You can go to the link in my bio and actually get an audit. It's the most affordable way to work with me. I will go through your platform and tell you exactly what needs to change for you to be taken seriously on social media and become a powerhouse with a personal brand that people know and they go that is the person I'm going to for this product or service it is not that hard to tweak but when it's your personal brand it's personal to you and so I needed someone to do this for me and so I know if I'm an expert and I needed someone to do this for me I know that it's a service that you could use so I do social media audits it's the most affordable way to work with me You can do a one-on-one and if you're ready to go all in and see massive transformation, I have a VIP program. I only take up to four clients in my VIP program a month. And that is where you get access to me personally every day, even weekends. So there's no getting stuck, um, no feeling lost, no not understanding how to create. I am there to answer your questions pretty much in real time. Okay. Have an amazing day. Bye guys, go build that personal, personal um, brand power and social equity. You deserve it for yourself.